just crossed over into the twilight zone. The twilight zone. You are now traveling through another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of fuckery, but of fuckery so insane that the human mind can hardly comprehend it. And can hardly comprehend it. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> ayo, 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 it's your boy, CJ. We back at it like a crack addict with a bad habit. <coughs> Today we got our boy Cyrax in mind. We are doing another video on Cyrax. I said King Cobra, but we'll do that later. We, yes, we will do that later. But, we gotta look in into this creature and what he's been doing lately, alright? Cyrax, Cyrax, Cyrax. Lately, what I've been doing, uh, the last few Cyrax videos that I've been doing, I've been talking about his past and uh, his past issues, him um, sending his dick pic to uh, a minor that wasn't really a minor, but he didn't know that. He... He probably thought it was. That disgusting little chomo. Allegedly. Just throwing that out there, but you disgusting little chomo. And I've been being nice on Cyrax. I think y'all can agree on that. But I'm just sick of him. I can see the way he manipulates people. And I can see that he fiends. He's like... He strives to get drama. He loves drama. And no matter how much he says he hates it, or you guys are bullying me, he will still come back for it. He will still go back on Marty's live streams, or he will still go talk shit to somebody that's talking shit about him. He worries way too much about what people think. And I'm getting to the point where I don't even think it's that. I think it's the only way for him to actually get some viewers is for people to feel bad for him and then I think Cyrax like personally talks to his fans and like manipulates them in a way. I don't know how anybody can be a fan of him if you know the stuff he's done in the past. I can see you feeling bad for him. But that's about it. And I do feel bad for Cyrax because I think he does have mental problems. And um, some of his actions aren't really his fault. But when you cross that line, when you send a picture who you think, when you send a dick pic to a person that you think is underage, that's just crossing the line. You can't give no excuse for that. I, that's my, that's how I think of it at least. But we're talking about Cyrax and what he's been doing lately. And him and this friend, I, man, the way he talks about this guy, it's like they were in a relationship or something. But, wow. Like, I even had friends that had, like, effed me over in the past. And I would not act like this trying to get them back to be my friend like it's embarrassing but um yeah this guy named Nylet whoever that guy is I guess was uh, friends with Cyrax for a very long time and I think Nylet started uh, questioning Cyrax's uh, intentions and his morals and so uh, I think he dipped out of there or maybe the trolls were getting to him and he didn't want to deal with that. And I, 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 can, I can see it going both ways. I really can. And you don't really want to be, like, knowingly friends with a chomo. Somebody that has done something like he's done. Like, send a picture to an underage person. And uh, I don't know how you can be friends with somebody like that. But guys, let's get into this little <laughs> spiel that he says, and it's so heartbreaking. Oh God, you can, you can hear Cyrax wanting to cry. And it's like, bro, I think this is a person you met on the internet to begin with. Like, 
I, I don't know for sure that you might know this person in real life, but even then, <laughs> oh, it's so bitch made. We gotta watch it. All right, let's go. Run the clip. For Nihilet the Red Panda. Stalker. Both on Twitch and on YouTube. Nihilet, I want you to know that what I'm about to say is in no way out of hatred towards you. Jesus, dude. At all. But what I'm about to say is to give you a fucking wake up call like you gave me. Maybe he doesn't want to like wake I said, up. I harbor no hatred towards you at all. God. Stalker! This is hating on you because it's not. This is me Being a fucking telling you how you're acting. Not just as a friend, but as a brother. Maybe he knows and he just wants nothing to do with you. You are acting like a fucking chicken shit. Wow. Letting these fucking trolls dictate your friendships. Letting these people fuck with your life. Wow, he chose what his were family exact over you. What fucking words that you told me? Mm. He doesn't like you, dude. The exact words you told me, in essence, were stop giving a fuck about what these people think. He's so spooky. He would actually, I believe, like hurt somebody if they didn't feel the way that he feels. Like, he is a stalker in the fact that he cannot just let something go. Like, okay, you don't like me anymore. Okay, you're right to choose your family over me. Is how it should be. Goddamn, dude. His family sees you're a psycho. They don't like you. And they're looking out for his best interests because they love him. Stay away from the stalker fucking pedo. Because eventually they'll go away. But yet, here you are contradicting yourself, motherfucker. Wow. You sit there and tell me not to give a fuck, but yet you give so much of a fuck that you cut our friendship. And for what? His family? Dude, stop giving a fuck what these punk ass motherfuckers like William Glory Hole think. Cause you and I both know behind the computer they may be like little tough guys or whatever. So fucking what dude? In real fucking life they can't do shit and you fucking know it. See you sit there and say that you call me your friend but yet you can't be seen associating with me. That don't sound like a friend to me. That really doesn't. A real friend sticks by his people. A real friend has his friends back no matter how tough shit gets. And you tell him to keep on fighting the good fight. It's okay. You tell me to keep fighting the good fight, which I've been fucking doing. But yet, every time I go to make a major move and expose these motherfuckers that do shit like this, you get pissed. What, are you going to step up and say something, motherfucker? Are you going to be the one to step up, Nylet? Do something with yourself, Because all I dude. see is somebody fucking running away scared. That's all wow. I fucking see. Oh, well. You taught me to never fucking run. But yet, what are you doing, motherfucker? You're running away like a bitch. Instead of going by your own advice, you're running away. You're a horrible fucking Like I person. said, who's gonna step up and call these motherfuckers on their shit and put a word out on these motherfuckers? Is it gonna be you? Are you gonna step up and fight to get fight and say something? Maybe he doesn't want all that drama. Like I said, now you're a good dude. 
You've been one of my best friends for almost 10 years. Oh, Jesus. And do you really think I'm gonna let you get off that easy? No. Stalker! Like I said, I understand your situation. I understand that your family doesn't need the stress right now for obvious reasons. And I respect that. But dude, you can't let these motherfuckers run your goddamn life, which is exactly what you're fucking doing. You're letting these punk-ass motherfuckers run your life and ruin your friendships. You've been one of my closest friends for 10 years, and the only reason I'm saying this is because I give a fuck about you. That's the only reason I made this video is because I actually give a fuck about you. Because you're one of my closest friends. Always will be. Because like I told you, whether you want to admit it or not, you're the reason my Twitch career took off. You're the reason why I'm at the level that I'm at. You fucking got me a career that I am fucking proud to say that I'm doing full time. I hope that fan falls whether on your fucking head. Whether it be my music, head. my artwork, my gaming, or whatever. I am proud of the career I have. And I owe that shit Anchor. to you, motherfucker. I owe that whole shit to you. I owe that to you, motherfucker. If it wasn't for you, bro, I'd still be probably at like 10, sub, 10 subs, maybe, well, not subs with followers, and maybe like one or two subs. But no, you gave me a fucking career, and I ran with it. Now look at me, dude. I'm at over 800 followers. And I'm up to 14 fucking subs, kicking ass and taking names. <laughs> but Nile, you need to get your head out of your fucking ass and back on your motherfucking body. And be fucking smart, bro. Don't let these motherfuckers dictate your <laughs> friendships. Kicking ass and taking names. I mean, fuck what William Glory hole ass say. Fuck what mass hole ass say. Fuck what music dick face you say that because you're right. Like I said, you tell me to keep fighting a good fight? And by me telling the truth about what these motherfuckers do to people like me? By me doing that, that is me fighting a good fight. You're so like a bobblehead, dude. I dare you to talk and just keep your head straight. Just sit there, talk, and don't fucking move. You're like a damn bobblehead, and it's making me dizzy. Motherfuckers. <laughs> so that hopefully the next dude that they try to fuck with doesn't get put through what I got put through. Or what you got put through. There you go. I dare somebody to make a bobblehead a chance. It's time you wake the fuck up, Nylet. You need to get your head out of your goddamn ass and back on your fucking shoulders. Wake the fuck up, dude. You're smarter than that and you fucking know it. You know you're better than this. 25 minutes of the same damn thing over and like over I said, again. I'm not saying this out of hatred towards you. I'm saying all this because I actually give a fuck about our friendship. I actually give a fuck about you as a brother. No, he doesn't fucking hate you, motherfucker. He just wants you to get your fucking head out of your fucking ass and put it on your fucking shoulders. Right? Because Something over the like last that? ten years, you have been there for me through everything, man. Whether it be the murder of my best friend, Zach. Whether it be my brother getting cancer and dying. Losing my mentor in music coda to a drug overdose. Losing my ex Lexi to health issues. And even more recently, my ex Heather to whatever she was dealing with. You don't even know. You've been there for me through everything, dude. And I will never fucking forget that shit. You don't even care enough to know. But dude, it's time you wake the fuck up and stop letting these punk ass motherfuckers run your life. You are so much better than that, dude, and you know it. You are so much better than that. Just 
Why are you, like, gaslighting? Why are you making him feel like it's more him? Like, you're so much better than that. You don't think much of yourself if you're not friends with me, do ya? Give me a break. You're so mm, pathetic. Like I said, you tell me that you are my friend, but yet you can't be seen associating with me. That's a bullshit cop out and you fucking know it, dude. You're embarrassing as fuck. Wait the fuck up, Nylet. Get your head out of your goddamn fucking ass and back on your fucking shoulders, motherfucker. Because you are so much better than that shit and you know it. And it's time you stop letting these pussy ass motherfuckers like William Gloriel run your fucking life like you're doing. Way to bully somebody but you being a friend. not <laughs> associating with me, you're giving them what they fucking want. Stop giving them what they want, motherfucker. Stop giving them what they want. They want me and you to not be friends. They want me and you to not talk. He thinks it's all fucking trolls what do you all the time. you fucking get it through your head? You doing that shit is what they want. And by you doing that, you're giving them what they want. And you're contradicting yourself. You sit there and tell me not to give the trolls what they want, but yet, what are you doing? Hmm? What are you fucking doing? You're giving them what they fucking want, man. Like, I'm out here every day trying to help people. Trying to build a peaceful ass community of people that can come in and hang out and not get bullied and not get trolled. Oh, yeah. You gonna eat that, you sick fucker? And I know, I get that sometimes being my friend might not be easy because of these motherfuckers. But let me tell you something, man. I have been nothing but loyal to you since day one. Since day one, I have treated you like family. I have treated you like my brother. Every single thing you said, advice-wise, I have followed to the fucking letter. You're a bully but yet, stalker, you can't dude. seem to take your own advice. Maybe it's time you wake up and start to take your, your own advice, motherfucker. Maybe it's time you woke up and started taking your own goddamn okay. advice. Stop letting these motherfuckers live in your goddamn head. I hope that fan falls on your horse. Because like I said, by you doing what you're doing, by not associating with me, bubbly, bubbly, and bubbly. <laughs> all this other shit, like I said, you're giving them what they want, and you're letting them live in your fucking head rent free. Oh my god. Stop letting them live in your head, motherfucker, and stop giving them what they want. Now, if you'd like to reach out to me, you know how to contact me. You know how to reach out to me. You got my Facebook. You have my Discord. He doesn't want to talk to you. You know how to fucking reach me. Like I said, I'm not saying this out of anger towards you. I'm saying this no. as a friend to show you what the fuck you're doing. Like I said, it ain't my fucking fault that these people fuck with me. You know that. You know this shit ain't my fault, motherfucker. You know what these people did to me ain't right. You know that it ain't my fault that I get fucking bullied, bro. So why are you letting them dictate what you do? Wake up, Nylet. Quit the fucking bullshit excuses as to why we can't be friends. Stop giving them what they want, bro. 
Like I said, you want to talk? Let's fucking talk. You know how to fucking reach out to me. You know how to get a hold of me. You got my Facebook. You got my Twitch. You got my Discord. Fucking contact me, dude, and let's fucking talk about this. Because I'm tired of losing friends like you to little motherfuckers like William Glory Fag. Who want to sit there and act like hard asses, but really he's a punk ass bitch. Like I said, man. You want to reach out to me? You know how to fucking reach out to me. Let's fucking talk this shit out. And let's get back to where we need to fucking be. Wow, 25 minutes of, well, sorry, 14 minutes of the same fucking thing over and over again. And I hope he contacts you just to tell you that it is fucking you. That he chooses his family, people that he trusts and loves and cares about over somebody like you. I hope he contacts you and lets you know and you fucking stop stalking him. God, I wish there were consequences for your actions that you do. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. Alright, and you know how I told you guys, well, I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but if you have... I told you guys about how he still lives with his grandmother, which he pretty much calls his mom. And he's still 30 years old. Apparently doesn't really help her around the house as much as he says he does. And I'm just like, bro, help her out at least, right? And not, not only that, he runs amok in their house. He causes havoc and he blames the trolls for attacking his family he should really maybe blame himself if he didn't go on the internet and didn't do what he did they wouldn't be getting attacked and now this old woman has to deal with his ass and to be honest she's psycho too but i kind of i kind of I, I give her sympathy because no one, imagine dealing with Cyrax and having to live with them at the same time. At least when we want to watch Cyrax, we can turn it on. She, it's on 24-7, baby, for Sally. I think her name's Sally. This is his grandmother. And this is just one of the incidents where you could tell she's just had it. Had it to the bone. And it's so embarrassing because, like... Imagine you're 30 years old, yelling at your phone, freaking out, and your Grammy comes in telling, saying, I'm going to turn off this internet, blah, blah, oh, God, it's just embarrassing. But guys, I want you to watch this clip. It's too good. Run it. No, man, that's all you fucking do, Marty. That's yeah. all you fucking do, man. You sit up on the internet and you try to make everybody else look bad just so you can feel good about yourself. And it's stupid. You need to grow the fuck up. You need to get a fucking life and stop the bullshit, man. Hey, sir, I've been in the music business. What do you do? Dude, you don't have a fucking business, motherfucker. You're a little bit of business. shit with no fucking job. Yeah, I might not have a job, but it's because of you and everybody else that are right, fucking No, man, don't even start that shit, boy. Don't even start that shit, Marty. No. Yeah. Marty, you're not even a fucking business. Stop. 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 Yeah, Marty. Listen your mother, Cyrax. Hey, Marty, why don't you go fuck yourself, dude? Nobody you wants to hear you, your you fucking mouth, to jelly. you piece of shit. You and guess what, jelly. dude? It was because of you that I don't have a job. Because yeah. you linked those certain photos of me out to the internet, which I don't know how the fuck y'all got in the Can first place. you sent them to a and woman and I'll have you working. Shut the fuck up. Because what of those happened? photos. No, shut the fuck up, Marty. Because of those photos, and because of everything y'all have fucking got me on, or supposedly got me on. You sent them to Happy, you sent them to Woman while Hunter was working, Marty. Alex. And see, this is what I'm talking about, bro. Every time I call you out, you feel like you have to interrupt to be the bigger man. Motherfucker, you ain't the bigger yeah, man. you're five feet tall. Of course I'm the bigger man. No, you're not, dude. Of course, I'm sorry, X. You are not. No, you're... Tell me shit down on the internet. No, this motherfucker's ruining shit. I don't care. Do you I do. 
Hey, Marty, yeah, watch the world call favor. Stop your bullshit. Keep us out of your conversations. Leave me and Heather alone and shut the fuck up and go the fuck somewhere else, dude. Do it. We're tired of your fake ass bullshit, Marty. You're. You're. No, I'm seeing this dude run his motherfucking shut mouth. It off. No, I'm seeing this dude run his fucking. No. I'm seeing We're this. tired of hearing it out here right now. Well, I'm tired of hearing it out here. Right here. Enough. You, know dessert, you better cut this out now. Hey, Marty, go fuck yourself, you bitch ass fuck boy. Nobody wants to hear your bullshit, Marty. You're a fucking liar, Marty, and everybody knows it, so go fuck yourself. No, you're not shutting it off. Shut it off! No, I won't. I'm going to turn the internet off. Shut it off! There's a couple now, Cyrex. Hey, Marty. Shut it off! No! No. No! No. Back off. Marty, get the fuck off of there now! No. Marty, you are a piece get of shit. Of Marty, you get are. Get off of it. No, I'm saying this, Marty. No, get off of it no. now. <laughs> get off of no. it now. No. Hey, get off of that old no. man. You are a mouse. Get off of it. And take orders from women like a coward. No, I'm saying no. I'm saying this motherfucker. No. Get the fuck off me, Heather. Heather, get off. Get off of it. No. Get off. No. Get off of it. No. Get off, get of it. off of me. Listen to the women. Get in and out. No, I need that. You're cold. No, Marty, I'll tell you. No, shut it off now. You're shut it off. 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 I hope you're happy with yourself, motherfucker. You are a little bad piece of shit. Shut it off. you. Shut it off. Shut it off. I understand that, but shut it off for now. Don't worry. Karma's coming for him. You better tell me. Hey, Marty, I hope you have me with your life, motherfucker, for ruining my bitch, boy. I don't know what you think. Stop saying, oh. You see what I mean? Ow, dude, that was crazy, huh? What's up? You see what I'm dealing with here?